Hey guys, a very important question seems to be more on the horizon as of lately, but really has been a question since the release of Battlefront 2015, and even more so since the shutdown of Visceral Games' single-player Star Wars game. When referring to single-player for Star Wars Battlefront, the community seems to be rather split on this topic. While I do think the majority of players would still love to see an instant action mode from the original Battlefront games make their way into Battlefront 2, there are still a lot of players who ask why single player is important for Battlefront. I would like to address this question since I usually see comments on my videos about it and all across Reddit, not to mention the official Star Wars Battlefront forums. There are many different answers to this topic, and for me it's hard to settle on just one since it's really a combination of them all. What it boils down to though is essentially replayability and immersion. Often the misconception of wanting to play offline is associated with not being good enough against real life players. This is literally one of the bottom of the list reasons. While there are players who want more offline content for this reason, this is generally the typical write-off answer. While it's true that AAA games are taking a more multiplayer-focused approach, Star Wars Battlefront 2, as a series, was never strictly a multiplayer-focused franchise, and really the reason why players still love those games today is because of its single-player content. This brings me to my first point, the replayability factor. Due to the strong investment in single-player content, players are able to pick up the original Star Wars Battlefront games and play them today. No servers, no additional players, and no internet connection is required. You can pop in the game and play any and every map and mode that was designed for the game. In a few years, just like Battlefront 2015, you won't be able to play Galactic Assault, Ewok Hunt, Heroes vs. Villains, or any of the game modes specifically made for multiplayer. Now I know there are games out there that are over 5 years old that you can still play the multiplayer on, but the point is, you won't be able to experience that game or its offered content once those servers go down. There is a lot of cool content in Battlefront 2015 that is hard to access due to the low player count, meaning the $60 you spent on the DLC is essentially unplayable, though at least Skirmish for that game allowed you to play the central vanilla game modes on any vanilla map. Both Battle Station and Infiltration were some of my favorite modes in that game, and it's a shame that I can't experience those game modes or maps that they were playable on just because it's dependent on another human being being online for me to play it. Next is the immersion. Sometimes, as a gamer, or as someone who likes to craft my own experience in video games, want to be able to immerse myself in the world of Star Wars. Being that there hasn't been a single player Star Wars game in many years, all we have is Battlefront. And with Battlefront being the only newer Star Wars game I can experience for the next couple of years until Respawn's game launches, I'm stuck with only having Star Wars Battlefront to immerse myself into that world. Whereas multiplayer fanatics have had the past three years to indulge themselves into the world of Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront 2 shipped with the campaign, but most of it was linear with no extra sandbox experience. Players who play offline are looking for a sandbox experience, something where they can craft their own adventure. The multiplayer game modes allow for this. Dennis teased the community back in February of 2018 that we would be receiving a much larger scale battle mode for offline, but we have been in the dark since. Players were looking forward to finally being able to play Galactic Assault offline, or something similar since. Not to mention that our community manager for Battlefront 2, Ben Walk, said that Starfighter Arcade would become more like Starfighter Assault over time. The idea of fighting over objectives in a large-scale battle is immersive in Star Wars Battlefront 2, yet the campaign only has a short few large-scale battles. With the multiplayer modes becoming playable offline, that would allow players to really immerse themselves into what Star Wars is known for, a large war in space. If you guys liked the video, please consider subscribing as I would love to make more videos regarding the offline content in Star Wars Battlefront 2. We are also out on Twitter and Facebook if anyone wants to keep up to date with future content for the channel, or just simply hang out. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.